1948, the first ever season of the National Basketball Association. The NBA was made after combining with the Basketball Association of America, the BBA, and of course those two combined to make the NBA. So the 1948-1949 season was the first ever NBA season, and today we are gonna start our sim throughout NBA history starting in this inaugural season. So first, let's talk about the superstars of the 1948 NBA. We gotta mention him first. George Mikan is the man this league is centered around, playing currently for the Minneapolis Lakers. He is the man around town. I mean, almost every season it feels like this man is averaging 20 and 20. I mean, the dude is absolutely insane. When they first started recording numbers in the BBA in 1948, in real life, man averaged 28.3 points in that first season. He is insane. He is one of the best of all time. To this day, the 6'10 center could get rebounds, and he could also score as well. So essentially, the 1948 version of John Stockton is Bob Davies. Back in the 40s, really, assists were really hard to come by, and Bob Davies got the job done. Think about it. In 1948, in real life, these are big numbers. Five assists per game and 15.1 points per game. you got to think about it at the time. Scoring was not very high. I mean, you have games that are going to end about 60 to 58. And this man, Bob Davies, playing for the Rochester Royals, averaged 5.4 assists and 15.1 points per game, leading the league and assist he's one of the best players also in this league and the final superstar we're going to talk about right now is joe folks playing for the philadelphia warriors the man in his rookie season in 1946 won the bba championship with the warriors averaging 23.2 points per game and leading the bba in points per game he is the only member of these three elite players who played in the bba last season and is looking for another championship but this time in the form of the united nba and bba world title and folks real quick if you have not yet make sure to subscribe button down below hopefully we'll make it all the way to 2020 in this sim so now let's break down the teams that are currently in this new nba and we are starting with the contenders of the serious threats to win a championship and first we've got the rochester royals this team man is absolutely insane you got the one two punch here with arnie ryzen and bob davies we talked about davies earlier but he's got a pretty good supporting cast here in rochester a lot of solid pieces along with bobby wasner and arnie Arnie Johnson as well, along with Andy Duncan. This Royals team is pretty complete. They're going to be playing in a really competitive Western Conference with the Minneapolis Lakers. And speaking of the Minneapolis Lakers, we talked about George Mikan. He is the centerpiece of this entire league. But the problem is, he doesn't have too much help. Yes, he is Jim Pollard, another superstar of this league who we didn't mention earlier, but Jim Pollard is a forward alongside George Mikan. He will be playing primarily the four with George Mikan playing the five. Pollard and Mikan don't have great guards. It's just them, but will it be enough to beat the Royals in the Western Conference? Time will only tell. And the best team in the Eastern Conference is the Washington Capitals, led by players such as Bob Friedrich and Bones McKinney. This team is pretty solid. They don't have one big superstar, but they are an all-around team effort. Also, they have the man himself, Fred Scolari, who played in the NBA and BBA with one deaf ear and also being blind in one eye. This Capitals team, man, a lot of people might sleep on, but they are very good and definitely the favorites to come out the East. And finally, the last real contender is the Chicago Stags, led by all BBA player Matt Zaskowski and also Andy Phillip, and as well as the younger brother of George, it is Ed Mikan. Yes, Ed Mikan plays for the Chicago Stags team. And yes, they may be the third best team in the West, but they are definitely in a really good position to make a run at one. Now looking at the teams who are all right, but still not very great. We've got the New York Knicks. Yes, they're a thing here in 1948, and they are led by Carl Braun and also Ray Lump. Again, a team that is pretty young like the rest of the NBA, but still, they are a couple years away from making a run at one. But still, with an 18 playoff, anything can happen as well with those best of three series in the playoffs. Another solid team right here are the Baltimore Bullets, led by Connie Simmons, a pretty young player, 23 years old, who puts up a lot of points, doesn't get the media attention of one of the superstars who play in a high market. Yes, it's Baltimore, but still, Connie Simmons 
is one of the better players right now in the BBA. Has never made an all BBA team, but looking for one this season. And we go from a couple of the younger teams right now in the NBA to probably the oldest. We've got the St. Louis Bombers who at one point in their season in 1948 had 17 different players on their team. Again, not an amazing team. They are led by Bela Smalley and John Logan. Logan is the guard and then Swally is the big. But still, this team is all right there playing in a pretty stacked Western Conference. Could they slide in as the fourth seed and maybe take down a giant like the Royals or potentially the Lakers? Again, time will tell. The next team is the Philadelphia Warriors, and I'm going to keep it real with you. This is just Joe Fultz. The dude has basically zero help. Like, we want to talk about how LeBron doesn't have help right now in real life. I mean, Joe Fultz had basically nothing. He had, um, his second man was Ed Sadowski, but other than that, he had no one else. Joe Fultz put this team on his back. Can he bring this team all the way to the playoffs? Maybe. Can he do it to a championship? I, I highly doubt it. And usually when you think of old school basketball, and I'm talking way old school, like in the 50s, you think of the Boston Celtics. But here in 1948, this Celtics team is not very good. They're led by Bub Ellers and Gene Stump. Yeah, they're not very good. They are one of the lower teams in the Eastern Conference. They're really looking for next season. But hey, they could sneak into the playoffs here. They weren't a horrible team. And again, this Celtics team has been traveling from league to league since the 20s. They have been around for a while. So at this time, they are still the old franchise that they are today. So now we've just got like the horrible teams. And first up, the Fort Wayne Pistons. They're the best out of the bad teams. They're not very good. Their best player is Bob Tuff, and they have Jack Smiley as well. And they also have Dick Trippow. They're not a very good team. Again, another one of these teams that are probably going to rebuild, but hey, they have a pretty sick logo. So the original Indianapolis basketball team, it is the Indianapolis Jets, led by guard Ray Lump. This team, again, is very bad. They're not... They're not the worst team in the NBA, but they're definitely not the best. And where to start with this Providence Steamrollers team? Definitely the worst team here in the NBA. They are led by Kenny Sailors, and he is pretty solid. He's one of the better players right now in the NBA, but the problem is it's just him. And it's not like a Joe Folk situation where maybe he has someone else. No, this Steamrollers team is terrible. They have already said they are going to leave the NBA after the season and go to another league. So why the NBA is marketing this team, I don't know, but they're here. Let's hope they win zero games. And before we get into the sim, I gotta shout out Big Doug Swan. He was the one who made these rosters for the 1948-1949 NBA season. Big shout out to him. I know this probably took forever. He has every single player in the NBA in this roster alongside with a lot of free agents too who weren't on NBA teams at the time. Big shout out to him. Now let's get into the sim. All right, so I'm just going to take you guys through some of the best games right now in the regular season before we head on over to the playoffs. And right now, the first game I'm going to show you guys is on Christmas Day. We are here in Providence to watch the Steamrollers take on the Minneapolis Lakers. And right there on the screen is Howie Shannon actually playing pretty well for the Steamrollers. Again, you got to take into account that scoring is very low in the NBA right now. So 13 points per game is very good. And we actually have a close game here on Christmas. Again, the Steamrollers are not good and the Lakers Lakers are the favorites but look at this Providence is in this game there they are only down to its 85 to 83 what will the Lakers do here a minute 20 left they're gonna drive in and Foreman is gonna get the layup to fall so LA is back up four but now down to two all right, the Lakers going to give the ball to George Mike in the spin move. That's why he is the best player in the NBA. George Mike in, what a finish. And the Lakers just need a free throw here to put this one away. They are going to be up 5, 90 to 85. And this one is all but over. But a really good fight by the Providence Steamrollers to stay in this one. But the Lakers do win. And a notable signing. One of the free agents is Goose Tatum, put in the Harlem Globetrotters back in the day. Joins a really stacked Washington Capitals team. This addition of Goose Tatum is absolutely huge. They already have Bones McKinney, who is an all-NBA player, and also Fred Scolari, and Tatum is going to make a big change in this league. And look at this. Their first game with Tatum is, is against the St. Louis Bombers, an absolute domination by the East-leading Capitals 
in St. Louis. Now let's take a look at the standings currently and at the top. You got the Washington Capitals and the Minneapolis Lakers. The Stags are in second in the West along with the Indianapolis Jets and the Rochester Royals at fourth in the East. We got the Caps, we got the Warriors, got the Celtics, the Knicks, and the Steamrollers. And in last, we have got the Baltimore Bullets. Okay, going to go to another game here. The Warriors and the Capitals, two of the best teams right now in the East. And look at this again. The Washington Capitals, complete domination over the Philadelphia Warriors not even a contest I mean I'm telling you, man that addition of Goose Tatum is huge the Capitals are running right through teams let's now take a look at the Lakers George Mikan coming in like Superman they're taking on the Chicago Stags here in the Minneapolis Auditorium and if you want to take a look at George Mikan's stats I mean, yeah, he's had a pretty bad last 30 days compared to his season totals. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. Let's get into the sim for this one. The Lakers going to go up on top, and the Stags offense have just gone away. Look at that. The Lakers are going to destroy the second-seeded Chicago Stags here in the regular season. Now let's head to Boston for the Boston Celtics and the Washington Capitals. Can the Celtics be the team to get a really close game out of Washington? Let's just see. And look at this. The Celtics going out to a pretty good start. But again, the Capitals going to take a pretty big lead now into the third quarter. It's a close one. Washington still up by six. Still up by six. Up by five at four. Back to six. Oh, it's a close one. Boston fighting back. We have two minutes left here. Let's get into the game. 79-76. For the Capitals, but look at this again. Washington, the Euro. Fred Scolari does it again. The man is absolutely insane. One deaf ear, one blind eye. It doesn't matter. Scolari again. Fred Scolari gonna drive in, and off of that man's performance, the Washington Capitals will beat the Boston Celtics again. 83 to 76. Now let's head on over to the Warriors and Lakers here in Philadelphia, a West versus East matchup. Two really good teams, Lakers though, 33 and two on this season. And here's the man leading this Warriors team. It is Joe Folks, 26.6 points so far this season. Let's get into the sim. Of course, we are here in Philadelphia and it's a close one. The Warriors putting up a really good fire now. They're in the lead against the Lakers, but Minneapolis is going to come back. It's 71 to 63. Can the Lakers hold on? That is the question. The Warriors fighting back. It's to six. Down to four. Back to six. Four point game. Let's jump in. Here comes this Minneapolis offense. The fade away. Nice shot there by Jorgensen. Oh, man. Let's see if the Warriors can respond on the other side. Musi going to shoot. He's got it. It's a four-point game. Let's see now what the Lakers do on offense. They give it to Smith. Will they feed George Mike and download? They will, and he's he's just the man, man. He, they can't stop him. George Mike and puts it in, and now they're going to give it to Smith. He misses, but George Mike on the glass, and Mike has got it. It is too easy for him. George Mikan will give the Lakers an eight-point win here on the road in Philadelphia against potentially their toughest challenge yet, but they get the job done. And now, the primetime matchup, the Capitals and Lakers here in Washington, the two best teams in the NBA, go at it. Who will win this one? And look at this, the Lakers on the road, getting off to a really good start. Will they hold on? The Lakers are winning. The Capitals, though, are back into this one. It is a six-point game at 84 to 78, but the Lakers going to score a couple more. They plot ahead by 10, by 8, and it looks like Minneapolis is going to win this one on the road. But could we see those two teams later in the season? Who knows? And here are the All-Stars. You got Fred Scolari, The Beast, Kenny Sailors, Bones McKinney, a lot of these guys that you've heard before, Connie Simmons. Again, the leaders of their own respective teams are All-Stars, Max Siskowski, we've got George Mikan, Jim Pollard, Arnie, Dick Trippow, Andy Duncan, Andy Phillip. The guys, again, I've spoke about in the past. And here is the MVP race. We got George Mikan, Joe Fultz, we got Max, we have also got Bob Frederick, and we've got Jim Pollard leading the way there. And the Lakers at the All-Star break have already clinched a playoff spot. The Stags in second, the Royals in third, the Jets in fourth, the St. Louis Bombers are in fifth, and then, yeah, the Fort Wayne Pistons. Not having a good, having a good time over in sixth place and I just want to show you this real quick we'll get on to the east in a little bit look at this dude right here um yeah this guy Ariel told y'all I'm a problem on 1940s Twitter 
he going crazy in the local newspaper. He's putting his name out there. Props to him. All right, and back to the West here. We simmed a little bit more. Again, pretty much the same thing going on here. Let's check now on the East. The Capitals are in first, the Warriors in second, Celtics in third, Bullets in fourth, the Steamrollers are in fifth, and of course the Knicks are in sixth. You love to see it, but the Steamrollers have a chance. And this is what we're going to. All the other playoff seeds have basically been decided, except for this, the fourth seed in the East between the Steamrollers and the Bullets. Who will come through this? Providence Steamrollers, man, they suck. I don't know how they're here, and they play three more times, including this game, for the rest of the season. It's a close game. It is tied at 72 apiece. Look at this. The Steamrollers are on top. Oh, but then the Bullets take the lead again. They're up by five. Three minutes left here. What will happen? And it looks like... Yes, the Bullets will go away with this one. They win this one by a score of 99 to 93, and they are currently still ahead right now in that race for the last playoff spot in the East. But here's their second meeting. We are back here in Providence, and look at this, the Steamrollers running away with this one, not a contest. They are all tied up, and look at this, man. The race is dead even. Again, the Bullets are up one, but still, it is a very close race. All right, the Bombers and the Bullets. Now, the Bullets need this to stay in that fourth spot. They are winning in St. Louis. The St. Louis team is going to be in the playoffs, and they win. Wow. The Steamrollers now need this game against the best team in the East, the Capitals, to stay in the race. Can the Cinderella story, can they win this one? Oh, my goodness. They take the lead. The Steamrollers beat the Caps. Oh, man. And now it comes down to the final game of the season between Baltimore and Providence. They are playing each other. The winner goes to the playoffs. We are here in Providence, and the Bullets get out to a really good start. They are winning, but the Steamrollers take it back. They're up by four. Oh, man, it's close. The Steamrollers again are up. They're up by 13. Oh, a big run. The Steamrollers, they're going to win it. The Providence Steamrollers are going to the NBA playoffs. They've already said they're leaving the NBA. They don't want anything with this league after this season, but they're going out with a bang. They beat the Baltimore Bullets, and the Cinderella story are going to the playoffs. And of course, I mean, it's pretty obvious. George Mikan wins the MVP 24-23. Just insane. Um, rookie of the year will be Joe Fulix. Everyone's technically a rookie in this. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't know how Mikan didn't win it. I don't know. But Mikan wins Defensive Player of the Year as expected. On to the All-NBA teams. We've got Max. We've got Bob Davies. We have got Joe Fulix. We have got George. And then George Mikan. I don't know how that guy from the Celtics got in there. Okay, Andy Phillips, Fred Scolari, Bob Frederick. Um, we got Stan, and we've got Arnie make the second team. The third team, we got Kenny Sailors. We have got um, Logan, a couple other guys in there as well. I believe Jim Pollard was in there too. All right, it is the playoffs. Again, it's an 18 playoff. The first and second rounds are both three game series, so every game is very important. This is going to come down the wire, folks. Let's start here with the Warriors and the Celtics. So the Warriors are the two seed. The Celtics are number three. Let's get in to this first sim. Of course, we are here in Philadelphia. And the Warriors get off to a pretty good start here. The Celtics staying in this one, though. But the Warriors are going to pull away. And it looks like, yeah, the Philadelphia Warriors will win game one here at home. Next up, we've got the Rochester Royals here in Chicago to take on the Stags. The Stags, the two seed, while the um, Rochester Royals are the three seed. Let's see how this one plays out. The Royals getting on to a really good start, but the Stags going to retake the lead here in the second half. And look at this. The Stags are winning. And yeah, they're going to pull away with it. Wow, Chicago will win this game one. Now, we head on over to the underdog story here in the Providence Steamrollers against one of the best teams in the league currently in the Washington Capitals. Can the Steamrollers pull off the upset in Washington? They did it to get to the playoffs, but they're, they're staying in it. It's a 10-point game, 8-point game here. Oh my, the Steamrollers are still in it, but oh, the Caps are going to pull away, and it looks like, yeah, it's going to happen. The Washington Capitals will win game one, but... This series does get to go to Providence for their next game. And now the St. Louis Bombers head on over to Minneapolis to the auditorium to take on George Mike and the reigning MVP and the Lakers. Let's see how this one goes. I'm really expecting a blowout from the Lakers. The Bombers are like worse than the steamrollers. We're keeping it real with ourselves. And yeah, I mean, the Lakers absolutely dominant. George Mike and, and the squad going to beat up on the Bombers. Now, the Warriors, if they beat the Celtics here, win this series. Boston, though, getting out to a good start, but the Warriors go on a run in the fourth quarter. And the Philly Warriors 
take out the Boston Celtics, the Celtics, the first team to be eliminated from the playoffs. And now, will the Royals be the second? The Stags, though, not getting out to a good start. The Royals are running away with it. And the Rochester Royals tied up at one game apiece. We will head to a game three there. Now, the underdogs, the steamrollers. I mean, it was a good fight, but the Capitals are up. Oh, the steamrollers back into it. Hold on. Eight point game. It is close. The Capitals barely holding on. The steamrollers. Oh, I don't think it's going to be enough. Six point game. Oh my, no, the Capitals gonna win this one, and that'll be the last we see the Steamrollers in the NBA, so goodbye Providence, have fun in another league that's gonna die out in two years. Alright, the Bombers and the Lakers here in St. Louis, the Lakers need to close this one out in this game, Tubo, oh my, we're tied at 69 apiece, that's pretty nice, but the Lakers gonna take a one point lead, back to tied, the Bombers, oh man, the Bombers are winning by four here in St. Louis. Borla here going to shoot, and oh my, he's got it, the deep mid-range shot. The Bombers have gone up six. What is happening in St. Louis? Are the Lakers falling apart? Smalley going to switch hands on the layup. And the Bombers go up eight, and they send the Lakers back home to Minneapolis for a game three. Oh man, the top team in the NBA is heading to a win or go home game three. But first, we have another game three. The Royals are in Chicago to take on the Stags, who will go on the Western Conference semifinals. And the Royals get off to a really good start. Bob Davies and his team is up by seven, but the Stags are only down eight now. It's nine. Oh man, the Royals. Oh, they're up four. Here in Chicago, it is a close one. We're still at four, no one scoring. Okay, the Royals get a free throw. They're up by six, back down to five. Okay, let's jump in this game. Oh, it's a four point game. Here we go. They give it to the man himself, Bob Davies. Davies gonna drive in the left. Oh, what a finish by Bob Davies. One of the elite players in the NBA score and the Royals get this one done. Rochester will head on to the next round and take on the winner of this game. We are back in Minneapolis for the Bombers and the Lakers. And the Lakers don't seem too concerned. Are they taking St. Louis lightly in this one here in Minnesota? Let's see. And I don't think they are. The Lakers absolutely destroying them like game one. I don't know what happened in game two in St. Louis, but the Lakers will win this series in three. And now they will take on Bob Davies and the Rochester Royals. Uh, what a performance right there by George Mikan. But first, let's head on over to the Eastern side. We've got the Philly Warriors and the Washington Capitals. Game one here in Washington. Don't forget, this is also a three-game series in the semifinals. And the Washington Capitals doing all right here, but the Warriors are in this one. The Capitals should be the big favorites in this series. But again, Philly hanging in there, but I think the Warriors are going to lose this one as, yeah, Washington will win game one by 16 as we head back to Philadelphia. But now let's go back to the West and we've got the Rochester Royals in Minneapolis to take on the reigning MVP. There he is right there, George Mikan stretching out before this game. Let's get it going. So the Lakers going to get off to a pretty good start here. They are winning by about 10 and yeah, it's looking like the St. Louis games one and two as the Lakers are going to, yeah, they're going to go up here by 17 and it is over. The Minneapolis Lakers win game one. So the two top seeds in the Lakers and Capitals are both one game away from heading to the first ever NBA Finals. All right, we are in Philly for the Capitals and the Warriors. The Warriors gonna take the lead here late. We're tied. The Warriors are back up. The Capitals though go up four. They're up. They're still up four. Up three now. It's a close one. Two minutes left. A minute sixty. That's not a thing. Two K. Let's go into the game. All right, the Caps are up four. Schultz with it at the top of the key. He'll pass it to McKinney. Bones. McKinney for three. I know threes weren't a thing back then, but whatever. Bones hits it. Oh my goodness. Now Fred Scolari. Don't forget he's deaf in one ear and blind in one eye. Fred Scolari scores the end one and the Washington Capitals are heading to the NBA Finals to take on the winner of the Royals and the Lakers. But there they are. Bones McKinney raises up the trophy and the Capitals are going to the Finals. Here comes game two though in the West. We're back in Rochester and the Lakers are pulling away with it. Again, it's not a competition. The Minneapolis Lakers run straight through the Royals and they will head on 
to the NBA Finals. This is the series everybody wanted. The Capitals and the Lakers, the two best teams, will finally now get to go at it. Who will come out on top? Will it be the team led by the superstar, the MVP right there, George Mikan? Or will it be the all-around group effort of the Washington Capitals? Let's go! Folks, it is time for the 1948-1949 NBA Finals. We're here at the Minneapolis Auditorium. The 70-12 and 12 Lakers take on the 68-14 and 14 Washington Capitals, the two best teams in basketball. Let's get it going. And it's a very close game here. The Lakers are barely ahead. The Capitals, they'll retake the lead. It's a four-point game. The Lakers up by six, up by seven, up by nine. The Lakers gonna pull away. And I think they have got it. The Lakers, yes. The Minneapolis Lakers will win game one. 101 to 91. They are up one game to nothing. Still in Minneapolis. This is a seven-game series, by the way. The Lakers are up. They're winning by seven. And the Lakers will go up two. Oh, wait, we're actually close. Never mind. Let's jump in. Two-point game. It's a three-point game. Here we go. The Caps get a shot. And the core Scolari. Oh, it's off. Oh, my. The Capitals had a chance to send us to overtime. But instead, the Lakers go up two to nothing. Now we are back in Washington. And the Lakers get off to a super good start. And the Capitals will not do anything here at home. The Lakers win by 13. It's game four. Will the Lakers sweep or will the Capitals live to fight another day? The Lakers are up by 11. They're up by 13. They're up by 20. It's looking like the Minneapolis Lakers will win the first ever NBA World Championship. It looks all but over and it has been done. The Los Angeles Lakers are your 1948. 1949 NBA champions they will celebrate in Washington and something's just telling me man I don't think this is the last time these two teams will meet but the first ever NBA finals will head on over to Minneapolis it was a very good effort. Uh, Frank Vogel, that's definitely not Frank Vogel. T totally not. I don't know who that is. But the Minneapolis Lakers will win their first ever championship. They, you know, they couldn't afford the blue jerseys, the, the blue championship shirts. So they had to get some purple. I, yeah, I don't know. The Lakers in purple. I don't know what that is. And th of course, there they are. They're using some different shirt that we've never seen before. They couldn't afford them. You know, they, they, the, the staff over here in Washington got some different shirts. They're, they're just, it's a joke. It's a joke. The Lakers are the champions that are totally not their shirts. And yeah, they have done it. So folks, thank y'all for watching this sim, this 1948-1949 um, sim. You know, this is the first time I've done something like this. I did some rebuilds earlier in NBA 2K21, but you know, I thought this was really fun. If you guys liked it, just, you know, tell me in the comments. Um, I want to do the next season, 1949-1950. Um, the, the, some of the teams will change. I'm going to do it like how the actual NBA um, played out back in the 40s and yeah um it's gonna take a while though because i have to make a draft class there is no 1949 draft class so i'm gonna have to do that myself it'll be about 30 players there's only 12 teams so i don't have to make too many guys but yeah folks thank y'all for watching make sure to subscribe button down below for more and mamba forever